Hello again, it's your fellow wolf here, Winter Summer Fox, and now I'll be talking about different species in the fandom. Hope you enjoy. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Furry Talks. In today's episode, I will be talking about the different ranges of different species that the fandom has, including hybrids, made of ones, and real animals. So let's begin. In the fandom, there's a roughly a total of 27 different species, and that's a lot if you think about it and how the fandom has come to be. And also from a survey which was conducted by Wiki for Data in July 2016, the number one for certain species is a fox and the second is a wolf. The next part of this episode, I will be talking about in detail about the species including mated ones and hybrids in terms of ranking. However, I will be excluding wolf, foxes, dragons, cats, dogs, and so on, because these species are based on real world animals that people have feel connected to and I don't really need to explain them because you guys know what these animals are. Number one, Dutch Angel Dragons are made by Basima, Behima Basima, I think that's her name. Sorry if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Known by the username Ion89777. And her species is a type of dragon that all have the following physical traits. Horse-like anatomy, feathered wings, no genitalia or digestive tract. In fact, they also don't even have a respiratory system and like other major organs. Long ears, fur coats, and are, are supernatural beings similar to angels or ghosts. They walk among us, often invisible, and act as our guardian angels. Last of all, they are able to manipulate energy in various ways to grant them physical capa capabilities, such as flight or elemental powers. Popular furries with this first term include telephone, sniper, dew, and radio. All this information comes from the official Dutch Angel Dragon site, and I will put a link down below. And I can I also say I, all the information all on these things are I'll put a link down below if you want if you want more information about them and you want to create a persona or character around them. Number two, Sergos was made by a Japanese furry named Tracy Mick, which has the character characteristics of a shark, rabbits, kangaroos, canines, reptiles, avens, I think, dinosaurs such as theropods and raptors, and all and are also covered in mammal-like fur. Also, they are biologically similar to mammals. Popular fruits with this person include Zerba the Diverse Sergo, Reen the Dancing Sergo. Number 3. Manor Kits or Shark Kitsos is made and owned by Dumbmud on Fur Affinity. These species has their eyes shut most of them to help, to help shield their eyes from the harsh sunlight conditions they have to experience on the way they're living. Since they're almost blind, they heavily rely on hearing, so they have large fluffy ears to help, to help amplify the sound waves. And they can't swim, also don't have reproductive, instead they give birth to live babies. However, which is very amazing how they give the birth to it. Basically what happens is that the couple's magical spell powers helps forms a cocoon or share around the baby. That's how it works. And I'm sorry, I couldn't find any popular furries around the, this fursona and also weaker beast as well, so don't blame me. Number four, weaker beast is made by Munchian Hellhound on Deviant and her species is a subspecies of Charlie. That reside on Earth and live heavily pop in live in heavily populated areas such as forests and swamps. And most of them have a hatred for men, men because of many years of torment and and pain they have placed upon them, and will not hesitate to kill human if they have the chance or assist any creature as poss possibly in cahoots with humans. Humans. Their appearance include large, long back pulled back ears, and that gives us a backward appearance with inner showings of the ears, some forms of horns, single or hued color eyes with no pupils or eye whites, short dragon-like dragon, dragon -like muzzles, or, and a, a bulky bother structure, three toes on their feet and sharp claws with no canine paw-like appearances, and long thick tails. Also, they are separate into three different subspecies, they are called King Beast, Rogue, and Swamp. So those are the different types of species that in the fa that the fandom has created for us people, and I would sh and you guys should respect the people who have made this species because don't forget they spent probably hours creating these personas to to connect with. Last of all, these species have rules and guidelines so to follow, so please follow them if you want to make your a persona or character around them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I'm in love with the cocoa.